Star Trek and Gaming Podcast. We eat sandwiches and play games. Say Star Trek and Gaming Podcast. The podcast for everyone's day. Hello, everyone, and welcome to yet another episode of Taste the Dragons, the Toddcast, the video game podcast that all you poor unfortunate souls listen to. And this week, we get two over to watch two. The news is a waste of money. And finally, Hassel is back with an all new episode of Now That's What I Call Video Games. And as always, my name is Brian. My name is Troy. I'm Amanda. I'm Hassel. And I'm Joe. Hey, everyone. Welcome, welcome. Welcome, what welcome. Up? It has been a week, everyone. <laughs> I came to get yeah. down. I came to get down. So get up your seat and jump around. Jump, jump around. around? That's right. Mm-hmm. All right. Was that? Is it okay if I stay seated? Yeah, you can jump okay. in your seat. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, no, I out. meant like, is it okay if I don't? Oh, like don't jump at all. Yeah, of course. I'm not yeah, feeling yeah. It. Well, it, it's a metaphorical jump. Because like, I'm already yeah. sitting. Like a spiritual jump. Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, I can do that. If you stay seated, can you wave your hands in the air and, like, you just don't care? Oh, yeah, I can definitely do that. <laughs> That's, yeah. like, yeah. the least amount of care you yeah. could possibly have. <laughs> yeah, for, yeah, for, yeah. For, Unless you're laying down and start waving your arms, then you really don't yeah. care. Oh, right, oh, exactly. Now I wish I was laying down. <laughs> <laughs> it's very funny, Hassel, because I was going to say that exact same thing that you said. Hey, hey. great minds. <laughs> it's great. Or, it's great. or what? your AI has caught up to what I'm going to say, and now you know exactly what I'm going to say. I mean, I'm I can't. Robot. Can you equivocally tell us if you're a robot or not, Brian? Uh, that sounds like a rhetorical question, sir. <sighs> it's against his programming. It. Yeah, uh, I don't know. That's. Are you trying to? Are you trying to source circuit me? Is that what's going on here? <laughs> what is it? No, we have to. Westworld? We have to subpoena uh, him. This guys. doesn't look like anything to me. Doesn't look like anything to me. <laughs> 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 uh, but welcome. Let's start off this week with our uh, question. And I believe, Manda, you have a question for <gasps> us. Amanda. I do have a question for us. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, what if you had a question for a different podcast that's not even on here? Yeah. Not even. <laughs> All right, still loading. We're, 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 we're listening. We're waiting. <laughs> the so... longest form of text message. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I do have a question for the serial podcast. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so this week, Troy and I went to see Six the Musical at the Broward Center. Very we quite popular. Enjoyed it. It was very, yes, it's very popular right very now. Good. It was very good. Okay. Uh, but it got me thinking, like, if you could take any video game and then make it into a musical, what would be your musical? Musical preferences for a video game. Musical preferences. All right. Yeah, yeah, like which game would you make into a musical? Oh, man. There's so many good games. Ooh. Joe? You feel like you, I feel like you know what your, what your answer I, is. No, already. no, I have too many ideas. You gotta come back. Just to me put out one. Way. Put out one. Any of them? Because I have no ideas, but I'm gonna okay. have one. I immediately went to Tomb Raider, but I went <gasps> to the first Tomb Raider. Okay. And the so there's one? dinosaurs. Yeah, the blocky one. <laughs> I went. I went. But PlayStation I went, One. O- yeah. OG. I went to the level of though, like the actual cannibal like Shia LaBeouf song like by Rob Cantor <laughs> I went to that level where we've got like a, a giant choir there and there's a you know full full orchestra pit and it's just interpretive mm-hmm. blocky Ooh. Tomb Raider but there's still dinosaurs and yeah, they're singing so, over it. Yeah. What's and, going on? But right. like, it's not an actress. It's a lady in a suit made of yes, blocks. Yes. And all of the set pieces are also yes. blocks. Everything yeah. is, yeah, yeah, yeah. is yeah. I went to like super... I don't even know what the hell that's called, but I, I went that level, and then, but I, but then the gag at the end is that Lara Croft is in the audience and she's applauding. Oh, I went full actual mm, cannibal. She did. Like, so at the went, very I end, she stands up. She stands up. The, and she the spotlight goes onto her. She just starts clapping. Right. Gotcha. Yeah. That's that's where I went. That's why I said I Love needed it. time because my, I immediately went to weird blocky. No, I think that's Tomb brilliant. I think I think great. your live pixel art is really going to take off. Yeah, I think it's going to be great. Oh yeah, it's yeah. be great. Yeah, and it'll have um, it'll be good on stage because it has good blocking. It does. <laughs> What's up, hey. Peter? What's up, theater friends out there? <laughs> hey. a little theater theory joke there for you. A little you theater can joke. exit stage right, sir. <laughs> <laughs> I'm turning the house lights down on this one. <laughs> Speaking of blocking, mm. Tetris. <laughs> <laughs> we did see a Tetris show. Uh, Man and I did see a live show that was that was live Tetris. <laughs> I don't know if it was it a was musical. Cool. Wait, it was, wait, it was. There was no scene. Wait, uh, Hassel, how could you possibly have any questions about this? <laughs> uh, were any friends involved in this? What do you mean friends? As in, like, People. did you guys oh, go see it? Because no, 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 there were no. Friends? No, we didn't have any friends that were in it. But it was at, at the venue was a theater that I had worked at before. Oh, so okay, there okay. were friends running like lights and sound. And Can then, I ask just a brief synopsis of what the storyline behind oh, the Tetris totally. musical yeah, is? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it starts off with Tetris, boop, boop, doo, doop, and then it ends with Tetris. 
Okay, in all serious, it was like it was more of like a abstract, like modern dance interpretation of of oh, okay. of, of uh, Tetris. They didn't really have like the classic music. Maybe it had like little they like definitely notes. Had Tetris music. Well, I mean, like they like gotcha. kind of like remix it, so it was yeah. kind of like yeah. it was okay, a like little notes less of yeah, yeah. Gotcha, gotcha. Um, and a little more inspired by. And it was really like looking at how like humans can like connect and like conjoin bodies in like in like uh, interesting ways. That's cool. Uh, yeah, it was pretty dope. They had different color T-shirts. And, like, I think it was mostly abstract, but every once in a while you saw him, like, actually make, like, the L block or, like, put things together in a way. You're like, Tetris! You're missing the best part. And this is entirely visual, so I'm so sad that this this is a podcast. Yeah. They did this hand thing where, like, yes, I think there were, the like, four, uh, four dancers and they all came together. And with their hands they made the Tetris game. Yeah. And it, oh, like, it was just perfect. You did them, exactly whoa. what they were doing. Two of them made excellent. like the screen and the other two were just like putting their hands like as it was going it down. Was, to it, the, was uh, it was yeah. good. It was good. Uh, that was so the most cool. Tetris part. In the end, they got us all on stage to like make our own Tetris blocks together. I was going to say, at the very end, did they all just like disappear because mm. they completed it? They got, <laughs> oh, they got the Tetris and they all yes. just gone? Yeah. No, no, no. At the end, everything was Tetris. It ended with the party. You know what type of party? A block party. Block jokes. <laughs> All day. Nothing but block jokes. This is what I got. <laughs> Can't make block jokes. You guys want to talk about blockchains? Let's go. <laughs> no. No, we don't. Oh no, God. definitely not. I'm about to block you right now. <laughs> <laughs> But uh, Troy, after all of that, do you have a game? No. Estelle, <laughs> <laughs> do you have a game? Uh, yeah, I do. Okay. Um, so uh, I I won a Mortal Kombat musical. Ooh, I like that. Just right off the bat, that's excellent. It's going to be a jukebox musical. <laughs> okay. okay. So we're gonna we're gonna use we're gonna use popular songs from the eighties and nineties. Okay. So for example, Hollow Notes Man Eater. It could be sung by Melina. Or it could be yeah. sung by somebody that's fighting Melina. Oh, is that what because she is a man musical eater. means? I've, yeah. I, for some reason, I've never even thought about what that means, but that makes sense. So that's so like yeah. Moulin Rouge? Like, it uses like, mod- like, yeah, oh, like yeah. established yeah. songs to make their so musical it, there's, out. So there's no like huh. original music. It's, uh, it's repurposed. You know, yeah, it's songs that have been uh, already written and but performed you, by other artists. You are going to use the Mortal Kombat song though, right? No. Because uh, like. <laughs> Too easy. Come on, it's, it's too easy. It's too on the nose. I feel like when somebody gets like a fatality for the second time, uh, they just start singing Mamma Mia. Here we go again. Um, <laughs> Sub-Zero comes yeah, out. It could be. You're cold as ice. Uh, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> See, sacrifice. Now you're getting it. Uh, mm-hmm. We could use Aha's take on me right before a fight, you know. <laughs> somebody could be seeing take it. Take on me. Fight. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Uh, all right, let's all take a second some... to think about some musical um, Mortal Kombat puns, all right, everyone? Go ahead. <laughs> Here we go. Come Here on, go. take mm-hmm. your time. Mm-hmm. Can we put the Jeopardy music in? Uh, <laughs> so, <laughs> Liu King does his little bicycle kick, and all you can hear in the background is Queen's bicycle. bicycle. <laughs> nice, 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 nice. Yeah. There's definitely um, a good Scorpion get over here, but I can't, I can't. It's he, he would, yeah. And get into my car. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Billy Ocean. Um, I love Billy Ocean. Um, maybe yep. Raiden. Like, strike to the heart and you're to mm. blame. A, little, a lightning strike lightning to the strike, heart. Lightning strike, I like lightning it. Lightning strike to yeah. the heart. There we go. There we go. There we or go. ACDC's Thunderstruck. <laughs> there we go. Thunderstruck. <laughs> very nice. Very nice. Mm-hmm. Love it. Mm-hmm. I love um, it. Yeah. Um, uh, Goro. In the arms of a Goro. I was not on board oh with this, goodness. but that just got me back on board with it. I was like, Mortal Kombat, yeah. This is not my premise. Oh, but like, yeah, yeah, yeah now. Definitely, yes. Yep, yep, yep. I love it. I love it. That's great. Mm-hmm. Uh, I feel like Noob Saibat would be have uh, Black Betty playing behind Whoa, him. Oh, Black Betty. Yeah, 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 yeah. Whoa, yeah. Black Betty. Love it, love it. Uh, for myself... I'm going to go with what I think uh, what yours should have been, Joe, which is Mario and Rabbits. Because it already is the opera. The opera. Oh. That better be a very short play. <laughs> no, 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 three and a half. No, the three opera and a half rabbit hours. is everything. <laughs> but the thing is, it could change up, it could change up the genre. It could. It Whenever could go to like, it. lounge music it if it wanted yeah. to. And, and then it, it could it go could. to the opera. And then, yeah, I think. They'd I think save it a could. fortune on lyrics. Absolutely. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah they would. Uh, I, yeah. I actually, I, like, thinking on the opera route, I actually would love to see Last of Us done as an opera. Oh, I feel like, I'm like, really a, cool. like stylistically everything. It's, you know, you're not really acting any of it out. It actually is just more of a person singing and like with all of that emotion in their voice. I think that would be dope. I like it. 
So would it, would it be like in like a, a true Italian opera? Oh yes, oh yes. And then like the cl- <laughs> the clickers would come out, and they would literally just be clicking, and they'd make the beats. Oh, like all of the the world around them could be people making essentially the beat that would be in the background. And then you ha- instead of having a full orchestra or whatnot, you would have one opera singer, and they would get dressed in different outfits. Like I think it'd be really cool. So it'd be like acapella. Like mm-hmm. I was just mentioning the entire orchestra dressed as clickers. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. <laughs> That would be a choice. That would, <laughs> that would be a choice. <laughs> uh, for, for me, I was thinking about Roki. If you guys remember oh, that yeah. from when we were playing a uh, uh, We Love Indies, it's a, a little Icelandic tale about uh, a girl and her younger brother that she rescues. And I thought, one, it has a very like Disney movie quality to it, uh, but also like it would be sweet. It would she would have a ballad, and then he would have a song, and then Roki would be a adorable the whole time there would be tomtas they would definitely have a song it's all like icy themed they have like different sets there's like that area by the river and an area in a cabin is that the thing with like the vines that were blocking your way or uh or am i thinking of the wrong one because i'm thinking no i think i I think i'm thinking of that i think there were some vines yeah Yeah, there's vines yeah yeah, yeah, stuff blocking your way and you had to do something and then it would remove them yeah yeah, 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 yeah. closer and closer to roki yeah that's right yeah they had the evil queen that's right i mean evil queen just screams like a like like you know musical ballad it does (laughs) oh my god how did i not go to eastward and just be like newsies oh Oh, man or like three penny opera eastward oh yeah you're right that would be great it's good it's good Troy, do you, do you have one to close us out? Or was... Yeah, mine's really specific, though. Oh, Let's do okay. it. All right, all right. All right. So I want I want Metal Gear Solid. Okay. Right? But. Ooh, but, okay. but, 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 but. I want it in the style of Hamilton. Okay. But. But, 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 but. <laughs> it's like a cup. Maybe. It, it's like maybe a couple hours long. I'm not sure how long it would take, but it's in the style of Hamilton. But okay. the entire play is only the opening song of okay. Hamilton. And that opening song is just explaining Metal Gear. <laughs> It would take like three hours. Yeah. It's just one yeah. guy on stage. He's got he's got suspenders and he's got glasses with tape on them. And then he's just, just like, okay. And then he's how just, does a soldier, son of a clone, filled with nano machines, try to get another compatriot in the philosopher's stone? Like, <laughs> but <laughs> yep, it's just it's just explaining everything up to the start of the game, which would be about two and a half hours. <laughs> Could you imagine two and a half hours in that cadence? Yes, yes. I mean, yeah. go, that's what like, I mean. Because you would know, also be just as lost. Just with the cadence, let alone the words that are going with the cadence. And the Patriots ran by his father, who's a clone of himself, and the boss that you never want to see. Like, it's, it's right. Now that on? you've said this, I'm very sad this will never exist because, like, I think that Lin Manuel Miranda is the only one that could fit that amount of dialogue into a song. I, I, I want to say yes, but I do think wait, Weird Al Yankovic could do it as oh, well. Oh, you're right. He should I collab. Yeah, I think Weird Al oh could, do, could do that. And he would find some way to make it make sense <laughs> hour and a half and, later and so, you find out that fox dies in a system and his arm is really a clone of itself and hypothermia happens <laughs> i'm trying i'm trying to come up with like sentences that actually fitted like inside he was longing for something to be a part of the brother was ready to sneak kill murder and or, be a martyr <laughs> <laughs> be a martyr <laughs> oh my god Yes, I'm with Nanda now. Now I want this. Now I want this. Now yes, I want this. That pace. Yes. Yeah, just... <laughs> two hours. Oh my god. <laughs> it's like oh what we were god. talking about last week with like having that Mario voice for 90 minutes. It would just be too much. And it would all just be leading up to like start Metal Gear Solid One, and then the play ends. Yes. Yeah. And you never, you never get to see the story. And, and, and he walks off stage. Entire... Before he walks off stage, he goes, "Now press start," and then he just like leaves. <laughs> the entire, the entire musical takes place inside of like. Uh, that area where he first rolls up and he swims up <laughs> to like those conveyor belts and then it ends in the elevator going up. <laughs> yeah, it's like the first three minutes of the game <laughs> yeah. and then it's over. I love it. <laughs> Credits, Metal Gear Solid, it's the musical. This is why there are no video game theater crossovers. <laughs> yeah. Didn't Super Mario this- World actually start uh, the uh, the opening screen is uh, as, the, as a uh, theater screen or a... Um, uh, uh, Super Mario World, yeah, yeah, it's, 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 a, it's, a, it's a theater. It's just a theater, and, and it's open. the curtains raising up, so it already yeah. is a, a theater. <laughs> yeah, play. I thought that was Super Mario Two. Maybe that's Super Mario. I only know is it was one of those, and it was on the SNES. It, it was Super Mario Two, yeah. but I think it was called yeah. Super Mario World, wasn't it? Mm-hmm. I don't know. Mm-hmm. All I know I is sure. there's just one of those was like. That. <laughs> yeah, it was the one that was uh, originally Doki Doki Paradise. 
It's that one. Uh, yeah, it's yeah, the yeah, one yeah, with yeah. the turnips. Yeah, it's definitely yes. it's yeah. Super Mario Two, but I thought it was Super Mario World. But I, you know, I, I could be wrong. Yeah. I don't, there's it is so many it is. names of them. <laughs> it's been oh so long. man! Uh, all of our musical ideas belong in the deepest, darkest, like community theater that we can find. <laughs> I mean, I, I know. I take a, offense to what you're implying. I, but... Same, but I also I know a guy. I, you know a guy. I know a guy. Broadway or bust. Broadway or bust. Hey, there was a Harry Potter musical, so I feel like that Metal Gear has a chance. Hey, listen, <laughs> um, uh, Phantom's finally closing down. We can. The Majestic Theater does need someone. Oh my we, And these are majestic. I mean, if, if these don't speak majestic, what does? Someone. You know how they did Pride, Prejudice, and Zombies. Someone needs to write <laughs> the Phantom of the Opera and Solid Snake. Like they need to make him the Phantom yeah. of the Opera somehow. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, it would be beautiful. It'd be so good. <laughs> oh man. Amanda, you knocked this one out of the park. <laughs> so good. Love Thank it. you so much for having that question. I was telling them uh, before I got here, I looked down at my notes, and I normally have a question that I've written down at some point during the week. And I looked down, and I was like, this is the question from last week. What? I don't have one. <laughs> and then Amanda added mm. nowhere. Hey, I have a question for this week. Oh, thank God. <laughs> <laughs> I knew that was going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but let's get into this week's episode. And so, Troy, what uh, what are you playing this week? I am playing Overwatch 2, uh, the uh, uh, newly released October 4th release um, first person team shooter game made by uh, Blizzard Entertainment. So wait, this released last week, which means that this is a... New release. release. Haven't done that in a while. <laughs> <laughs> Caught me off guard. I know. You're, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. Um, so yeah, this game came out last week. Uh, it's hard to talk about Overwatch 2 without first explaining uh, my relationship with Overwatch 1. Correct. <laughs> Here's a memoir. The complexity of Troy Davidson and <laughs> Overwatch. <laughs> um I, uh, as you guys know, it was a game. It's, look, you guys know what kind of games I like. I like like the heart wrenching indie games that are like new, fresh, and weird. Like that's my favorite type of game. Oh, it is. Overwatch is the exact opposite of that. Exactly. And for many, many years, I fought Overwatch being like like my favorite game until I realized how many hours I was spending on a first person shooter game, which is like. I, I I don't enjoy those. I'm not into those. I'm not into the Call of Duties. Uh, but something about the characters drew me in. Something about the gameplay. The idea that it's not just about shooting. It's about healing your friends and 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 working the objective and being having to make really uh, a quick second uh, strategies <laughs> really drew me in to a into a a place in my mind where I never knew I could get. Where I'm just constantly wanting to play a single game. <laughs> Which yeah. I've never been about a game before. And then also, you, you played it with a, a bunch of your friends as well. And it, or the, our friends. Yes. And, then, and then that also helped because a you community. got to uh, build a community of people. Again, we still haven't even met in real life. <laughs> some, some of which we haven't met. And, uh, and friends that I don't see that have moved away. Exactly. And so Overwatch became very special to me. And then uh, the, the parent company of Overwatch, Blizzard Entertainment and Activision... Uh, did some have been doing some really horrible things, and th- a lot of their uh, dirty laundry got aired, rightfully so. And mm-hmm. they're literally in the middle of being sued by multiple different entities, including the government. Um, they have been outed on so many different uh, like horrible um, business practices mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. that honestly really just pulled like my, my my gusto for that game like just pulled that rug right out like i went from like just kind of it was like a normal thing every couple every night i would just put in like a, a, an hour or so into, yeah. into overwatch every single night but then when i started booting it up i was just like nah because i would just think about all the horrible things that company has been doing or has done and we didn't know about i'm like i just am it's just i'm just bummed yeah I'm just bummed and so i haven't played the game for a long time so i'm the complexity complexion is me really enjoying this game really enjoying the community of friends i have with it but also knowing that that it, all people got hurt mm-hmm. in this company uh, while working on this game uh, and 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 other games that blizzard has made um so mm-hmm. so i haven't touched overwatch in like eight months nine months um and, and i was like all right i'll give it another chance when overwatch 2 comes out and see how it goes the other coin to all this horribleness is like i know that there's so many good, good, good people working at that company that are putting in so much hard work that have just been, like either either they've just they're, they've just been doing their thing, minding their business, or they are people that have been taken advantage of and has, have pushed through 
all that horribleness and have created this game. And so like uh, the other side of me is like really wants to honor their work because, hey, you went through horrible work conditions and you still made it through. And now you're advocating and things are changing at that company, especially with the buyout from Xbox and Mm -hmm. all that stuff. I want to support the new iteration of blizzard and activision yeah and some of those play- employees have also done walkouts they've done protests they've, they've done a lot yes, of a lot of activision lots of talk of unions yeah. and and things like that and, and and hopefully xbox has a pretty good uh uh track record with treating its employees well as far as we all know <laughs> yeah yeah as, as far as we know the xbox especially the games division yeah. has been recently has been very good about just hey we're purchasing something and just letting it be like hey listen and also like taking and then, care and of the employees it. yeah exactly yeah. They, they've they, you know i think we we reported on it last year when this was first announced um that xbox was or microsoft was going to be purchasing uh activision blizzard and they there was a, they had just formed a union there and xbox was like listen if, once this goes through we're not gonna you guys are fine with the union. You guys yeah. go for it. We're yeah, yeah, not, yeah. We don't care. Which is great. Go for it. it yeah. When so many big businesses are tr- like literally hiring like lawyer bust, like union yeah. busting lawyers and stuff like that and mm-hmm. emailing their employees to like, you know, sway their opinion on it and stuff. It's nice to see that. And I'm, I'm hoping that it makes real change over there. Agreed. All of this to explain is this. <laughs> these are literally all the feelings that I have oh, yeah. when playing Overwatch 2 at once. It's just a video game. I shouldn't. <laughs> I shouldn't be feeling all this stuff. Um, but I definitely felt that going into into Overwatch uh, to leading up to it. Um, but once we got kind of past that, and I can and not past that, but with all of that in tow, I, I I've been able to play a lot of Overwatch two over the past week. Got past all of the uh, launch problems that we talked about last week. Uh-huh. It, it ironed out after a couple of days, and uh, it's been a pretty smooth ride. Not entirely smooth, not entirely. but as far as uh, playing games, <laughs> mm-hmm. getting to games, I've been able to, to not only dig into or not only play the game, but dig into what the new mechanics are, how, how uh, uh, things have changed from Overwatch 1, and also look into this new format they're doing, yeah. which is the free-to-play Battle Pass, a very popular system that Fortnite and lots of other uh, Apex, Apex Legends, yeah, all, a bunch of most of them now, yeah, Rocket, Rocket League. League does free-to-play. Um, so, so yeah, I think first I'm going to start with that. I think that's the, that's the biggest change is that Overwatch went from, from being a game you could play, you pay like 60 bucks for to, you get to, anyone can, can play if they've got, you know, internet connection and stuff (laughs) and a cell phone. Right. (laughs) That's right. Yeah. (laughs) Um, and it was interesting the way they did it because this said that, like you said, this did go free to play. It used to be a game you had to buy and then it went to free to play. So if you were a person that played Overwatch one and went into Overwatch two, uh, all of the characters were already unlocked for you. Mm-hmm. And then including the new characters that they, that they just added. Because they added, what, Junker Queen? Um, uh, what was the other ones that they added? Uh, Sojourn. Uh, Sojourn, like a that's fighter, right. A fighter, a soldier, and also Kuriko, which is a healer. Correct. Uh, mm-hmm. So they added all these characters. And so as long as you owned Overwatch 1, everybody was unlocked for Overwatch 2. Mm-hmm. Um, however, if you had never played Overwatch 1 and you're like, all right, I'm going to jump into it now. Only some characters are unlocked. And they unlock as you play. So I think it was something like if you play, I think, about 60 games overall, you will eventually unlock all of the characters just right. by playing. Right, right, right. Um, so that is something that's, that is definitely different. And uh, there's yeah. a different experience if you've, uh, if you've yeah. never played Overwatch. I hear for the new players, it, it's quite a grind yes. to, to get the full roster. And part of it is strategic uh, from what they're saying. I think it's double, doubly so, both strategic and a little like, um, you know, f- free game eye rolly. Yeah. Where it's like, all right. Uh, the the way that they're 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 saying it is like, hey, we don't want to overwhelm you with our like you know thirty forty roster you know, of characters. Here's like five you can play with. Learn how to play those, and then move on from there. Which uh-huh. I also get, but I also know it's gonna. It, they're also saying it like, hey, but if you want those characters, just keep on playing. Or if you want to get higher in the rosters, maybe spend a little money. Yeah, get those, get those characters faster. Did money, they, come on, did come they on. get Snake in the game? <laughs> is that who's talking to me right now? <laughs> and then the nano machine machines came. Um, <laughs> right. Yeah, so I bought the the bat the, the pass. Okay. Pretty much if you if you don't buy anything, right, you don't have all the characters and also you have to play so long, so <laughs> many games to get like little cosmetic changes. And it could be like a little voice line here, a little taunt there, but nothing really substantial. Maybe a costume. And it, I would say like if there if there's like a, a in a group of 10, there may you may get two things out of those 10 ranks and you go up to 80 ranks. I've been playing this game pretty much nonstop, and I'm you at have? rank forty. Wow, um, that's ooh. awesome! Yeah, ooh. 
I'm, I'm heading to 40. I think I just <laughs> got to 30. 40 is my next goal. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Um, and, but with the, the battle pass that I bought, which is about 10 bucks, I'm getting like 10 different items. If, if for, for each thing that's happening, I'm getting my money's worth or I'm getting the full experience, I okay. think. Um, granted, none of this changes the game, the gameplay. So it's all just personal preference. Um, mm-hmm. But I think, I think it's fine. I think it's fun. Um, it does seem like they, they, they got into like the destiny tracking, you know, like Mando, when they had like when destiny, they would have like daily challenges and like weekly challenges. And if you do them, you can like get more cosmetics, I think. Yes. You... Yes. Yeah. They had like the quests. They, and stuff they, like that. they don't have dailies and weeklies. Like they don't call them dailies and weeklies. Okay. Like, like, but they have, you can pick up quests and you can pick up X number of, uh, of, of quests at a time, and then you can complete them. And some of them are easy to do. You can do them in a few hours. Some right. of them are more difficult to do, like they're intended for you to do in multiple days. I mean, you can just sit down and like do the whole thing. Yeah. But they're not, they're not like labeled uh, dailies or weeklies. Okay. Correct. Like, I, I don't know exactly how the format with Fortnite and Apex goes, but, but with Overwatch, the way they can help you get through those ranks quicker so you can get more cosmetics is by doing these daily challenges. And some of them are, like, like good teaching tools. Mm-hmm. Like, some of the daily challenges will be like, hey, play something else than the DPS role. <laughs> play support for three games. And it's like, oh, well, if I want to do that challenge, I'm going to have to, like, be a team player. <laughs> and I'm like, yes, Ew, yes. No one, no one likes that. <laughs> I guess all these people are just going to have to suffer through these three games of me being terrible at support. <laughs> I'll take it. You know what? I'll take a horrible support player on my side than, like, no one. Yeah. Um, anyway, but so, so they kind of incentivize you to play a – fuller version of the game play you know if you're going to queue up for a role in, instead of queuing up for being you know one of the tanks or the dps or the support you queue up for every role and just kind of go in wherever you know you can um, but they also have weekly goals and they have seasonal goals so there is mm-hmm. definitely ways for you to kind of um uh get through that battle pass quicker and i have found that by completing those it's it's actually getting done pretty quickly like yeah. i'm I wasn't too surprised. I was able to do like 10, 10 ranks just by completing my weekly and daily goals. Oh, that's cool. Uh, and it goes on for two months. So I think if you just do that, like you'll be able to get there. Mm-hmm. Um, so I think the new format works. Okay. Can you earn the currency that it costs to buy the battle pass? No. Okay, cool. <laughs> <laughs> a, lot of, a lot of newer games, if you play enough, uh-huh. They'll give you currency, and then you can buy your pass at the currency. I think uh, new the Disney Dream Valley does that. You yes. can earn currency to buy currency. Fortnite used to do that. Uh, Fortnite still it does still that. Does. Yeah. And, yeah. and a lot of the, the games also, um, they the way that they do it is they do give you currency just for completing the battle pass. Mm-hmm. So like, like, it's like some of the games like Fortnite, if you completed a, all one, I think, 100 ranks of the battle pass, you would get all of the money back or you know, whatever the premium currency was, back to you. And then you buy another and battle pass. And you can pass. buy the next battle pass. So That's really you only great. have to spend $10, but then you're also playing it a whole lot in order to get those 100 ranks. Uh-huh. So it's it's continuing yeah. the cycle, which is good for the game because it brings players because you need one versus 100. Um, yeah, those new, numbers. Um, yeah. The new FIFA is doing the same thing. So the new FIFA, you can actually, um, they'll have like challenges like weekly. Mm-hmm. And, it, and as you go you know, uh, completing those challenges, they'll give you like, uh, I don't remember what they're called, but they're like coins. Okay. And then you can use those to buy the packs rather than actually spending your own money to buy the packs. Gotcha. Gotcha. Nice. Nice. Yeah. But not Blizzard. Damn <laughs> <But not laughs> it. Money yeah, or no, nothing. No. Money or nothing. Yeah. They have like three different forms of currency. One. Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you pay money for one that you can only use in game. Then there's a currency where, like you pay for money to get in-game currency, then you use that currency to pay for things. Or there's one that's just just your money, no in-game currency. It's just your money, like not not just 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 your money. This Some things are confusing. Cost that. And then there's another one that's like league points, which is like for the Overwatch League, the esports part, which is its own currency, ah. which is more than a dollar. <laughs> it's re ridiculous yeah but it's all optional as someone who enjoys resource management games that seems like a lot <laughs> Re- remember that yeah. that one story i uh, uh i had about like hey would you uh where they uh, had like a test to see hey would you buy this mercy skin for 60 bucks oh yeah, yeah that's right i found what that is there, there are there are skins that are in like their, their shop that are only you can only buy them you cannot earn okay. them you cannot buy them with in-game currency mm. you can only buy them wow. and they're cool and they're expensive yeah. that feels meh yeah. I don't like that. 
I feel like the um, the monetary system in the Harry Potter universe was easier to understand. <laughs> <laughs> the quibbles and wobbles and yeah. <laughs> gadoodles. Yeah. <laughs> 17 sickles is a good nut. Yeah. <laughs> it's a good nut. <laughs> 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 but it does follow what like Fortnite and the other these other places do do. Like yeah. in Apex, they do have their their costumes that yeah. you can only purchase, and they are like ten dollars or twenty dollars, right? And so they do have that. So it is. I, I wish they wouldn't just follow a format. I guess you know it does work, but right. I wish they would just forge their own path because. You know, they, they this is something that's already kind of established. It you looks like the shop may be it. rotating. The ones that only cost money now may end up turning into things you can now pay for like in-game currency. But okay. once again, you only get in-game currency if you pay real money. So I, I don't know what the, what the yeah, deal yeah, yeah. is. Yeah, I, I just, I guess I don't really get like the allure of paying $20 for like a skin. Like like for content, I'll pay that much money. But when it comes to like just aesthetics, because it's like, okay, you're asking me to buy something that's only digital content and it's <laughs> only for this game and it's only relevant while I'm playing it. Some of it uh, is collectorism. Mm-hmm. Like, yes. like when I look at all my my Winston, who's a giant monkey with a laser cannon. Uh, <laughs> this is why I like this game for fun characters. Um, mm-hmm. And I see that uh, I have you know twenty four out of twenty five costumes. I won't lie. Something in me goes, oh, I want to have twenty five. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. I hate that. Yeah, it's predatory. Uh-huh. But yeah, still, it's that completionist part. Yeah. You know? And yeah. it's like, oh, five bucks to have that? Mm-hmm. Well, no, right. but I mean, five bucks, I don't have any problem with. It's it's when it becomes like 25. More. There mm-hmm. was some Destiny stuff that we had that was like $40. Yeah. That for, was, that for was like ridiculous. skins. And it was just like, I'm sorry, what? Yeah. So the other side of the coin is this is technically a free-to-play game. If you just want the, the, the gameplay of this game and you don't care about the way you look, you don't care about that or the way you sound, then you, you've got the full experience. You've got mm-hmm. all the maps and you can unlock all the characters. You can still do that so the way for me and the way this kind of worked out for the other overwatch first overwatch which you paid once for but then all the content update was free all the characters all the costumes everything else was just included and that's like five years of content that was all free the way that i rationalized at that point for me which felt like a free-to-play game is if there was a costume that was 20 bucks i'm like you know what over the past year like i played 20 bucks worth of content Mm -hmm. so yeah yeah, i'll I'll get i'll buy this costume and that's kind of how it worked at least in my brain. Yeah. Um, if they support this game in the same way, if they're coming out with new characters and you can in-game unlock them, you're not locked out through a pay gate, or they have new maps and things like that, new modes, and it's freed for everyone, then I could see being like, you know what? I've gotten I've gotten my 20 or 30 bucks in. I'll buy that costume and support or whatever, or just give money to, to, to this this game. Mm-hmm. But that's like a year from now. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, okay, so so we did talk about last week with the issues that they were having with their servers. Yeah. Um, and it was interesting because I've tried to play this game for a little bit. Yeah. Uh, and it seems like I've only tried to play this game when they're having issues with their servers. Oh, Brian. Because <laughs> like last week I tried, like, to I tried it day one and you know, we all know how day one went. Uh, day two though, uh-huh. I was actually off. Uh, I was off work. So I played it during the day and it actually worked pretty well. I played it for, I want to say, what, about four hours, Joe, I want to say? Oh, yeah. Um, got a bunch of different, you know, got a bunch of time in doing Mr. Heroes, trying to figure out what the differences are, what the changes are. Um, and then I've tried playing it throughout the week just here and there. And it's just been like, like today was a perfect example. I tried to go on. And it's just, I, I was just like, all right, let me just go to the uh, practice range. Yeah, and going into the practice range, it was it was hanging. I looked in the bottom left. It said we're having uh, yeah. uh, issues with the servers. I was like, for the practice range, the entire- yeah, you can't do anything. I can't. You can't look through your costumes. I you can't. can't. I go to the menu. That should yeah. be single player. Why isn't the uh, the, the practice it, range? It, it should single be single player. It, it should be what? Because that doesn't exist I yet, know. Brian. It doesn't exist yet, Brian. <laughs> the entire game went down today. Yeah, and it's unfortunate because like I haven't had problems <laughs> since <laughs> since the first or second day. Uh-huh. I've been playing pretty much every. Every day, mm-hmm. uh, and then yeah, as you texted me, Brian, you're like, "Hey, having trouble getting in?" I'm like, "Nah, I'm doing great. This game's awesome. We're having a good time." And then like li- literally the next game, I got the same error you did, and then the <laughs> entire internet was like, "The f is going on?" Brian verbally sent mm. you his bug. Yeah, <laughs> I did. yeah, that's actually what I did. I'm like the ring, but with bugs. Your patient zero. <laughs> yeah, but it really was just like. Come it's on. because Brian was trying to get into the fighting range without the battle pass that he needs. Oh, right. right. <laughs> for the fighting I didn't range, buy yeah. it. Hassel, you're not. Re- okay, this is my fault. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> but how are you enjoying it? Because instead yeah. of it being six versus six now, it's five versus yeah, yeah. five with one tank. I'll, I'll refrain from going too deep into yeah, Overwatch theory because we're already yeah. we're already really captivating with this uh, money and currency <laughs> talk that we're having here. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, it's usually a six v six game. 
you have two tanks, two damage dealers, two healers. That's the makeup of the game, mm-hmm. and you all work together to complete goals. Yes. Um, with this game, they decided to take out one of the tank healers. And usually, in Overwatch, when you're the tank, a lot of the, the action settles around you. And you're, you're the one pushing. It's kind of like football. Like, you're kind of the, the quarterback. Like, you're the one that's calling the plays. And you kind of look mm-hmm. towards that character or that position mm-hmm. to, like, base what you're going to do around that character. Overwatch 1 was notorious because there's two tanks. It had the same problem. Think if you had two quarterbacks, which actually sounds pretty awesome. If you did. <laughs> two, two quarterbacks, two balls. <laughs> you do have two quarterbacks. You have one, and then the opponent has one. So. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. That's a yeah. good point. Good point. Yeah. So four quarterbacks. Mm. <laughs> okay, gotcha. So okay. a lot of times, some of the frustration with, with Overwatch was like, hey, everyone, we're so spread out. We're not playing as a team. And I don't. I'll, I play about half with our friends, and I play about half by myself. Mm-hmm. And so when I'm playing by myself, it's almost impossible to try and like get a good game going, at least in Overwatch One, to get like some cohesion going. Correct. Taking one of the tanks out and having it being five v five is like a sneaky way of making everybody play together. <laughs> <laughs> because now there's one big person on the team mm-hmm. which is getting all the attention either from the opposite team or from you. And I'm ju- I I was, I'm seeing how naturally people are tending to play together more. Yeah. And I was like, "Oh, oh, I see what you did, Blizzard. This is a smart move. You it got is. rid of the second quarterback." Yeah. And now the games are just more focused and yeah. kind of laser focused. And I, I'm enjoying that as someone who really enjoys the mechanics of this game. Gotcha. Yeah. Cause that first game they had, you had, you had your, your true tanks, which could take a lot of shots. And then you had your off tanks, yes. which they were, they were made to like go around, sneak they do around, flanking, do, they do, do sneaky. Stuff. Yeah. Yeah. But they still can take some damage. They just don't dish it out a lot. Right. Um, but you would run into issues when you would have two off tanks instead of, or two main tanks. Right. And yeah, that, you, yeah, that was the issue. So I do, I do actually do, I miss it a little bit because I play Diva. I play a tank. You played an off tank. I played an off tank. You got though. to do whatever you want. I did. <laughs> and it works. You usually. can't do that anymore. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> mm. But it, it did make me choose, change how I wanted to play because in this mm. one, when, I, when I'm, I still want to be a tank, but I'm choosing like Orisa now. Where I'm actually yeah. trying You're to there lead. there on the front lines. I'm trying to Orisa lead Orissa is a four-legged giant robot with a spear. Yes. I really like this game. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I really like this game. That is piloted by a child. <laughs> yes, that is remote piloted by a child. Yes. Uh, um, Love it. And so the, the, the other coin of that, um, and this is why this has been a fun week for me, is I'm, I'm seeing and myself, I'm going through this transition of all of these strategies of Overwatch 1 and Overwatch 2. I see so many people who are playing t- the tank role, which is a singular role now, but they're used to playing off tanks. So they're picking mm-hmm. their Divas, they're picking their Roadhawks, and they're just... And they're just nowhere. Nope. You just can't see them. <laughs> and I'm there just like, God, God, no, you're 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 the only one. Yeah. <laughs> where, where are you going? <laughs> no, 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 come back. Where I'm alone. And then I get tackled. <laughs> yeah. And then you see the actual enemy tank in front of you doing their job. And you're like, yeah. well, <laughs> I guess I'll just die. <laughs> so it's been really cool seeing those characters as people are learning the game slowly start understanding that they can't play the way they used to. Mm-hmm. They have to graph if they want to succeed. And that's been awesome. Yeah. Uh, uh, seeing the transition happen. And, and I've been enjoying myself going through that transition. Like, uh, yeah, I, I had the same thing where I'm used to playing um, um, uh, Orissa a certain way. Yeah. Uh, and kind of a, a kind of defend. I don't get into the, the fight. I kind of keep her back. But now I'm a little more aggressive. I'm like getting in there. I'm like, mm-hmm. this is a whole different mindset. And yeah. um, it's made, this is where I, it does feel like a sequel. But I think it mm-hmm. only feels like a sequel for people who are really into the original. <laughs> yeah, Otherwise, I agree, yeah. it looks just like gobbledygook, and it's just the same. There's not doesn't seem any different. Uh-huh. But when you really look under the hood, you see the different mechanics, you see the different characters, the new location, which really bring this entirely new freshness and strategery um, to the game. Which for me, about three days in, I like saw. And I felt my I saw my felt myself falling right back into that first couple of years of Overwatch One, like wanting to dig, really dig into these characters and the plays mm-hmm. and the strategy we're in and like really hone my craft and test my abilities of thinking quickly and I'm like I'm there. I'm in it yeah. again. And that feels really good because I haven't felt that in a very, very long time. All right. Well that that how, leads um, Okay, go for it. How many hours have you slept, Troy? <laughs> <laughs> Um, describe slap. Could you, could yeah, you define sleep? that in a sentence? What is that? <laughs> Can you use it in a sentence? Uh, so here's the big question. If, if Overwatch 2 was a sandwich, what are we looking at? 
Um, yeah, this would be like, you know, you have like refried beans. This will be like a refried sandwich, a retoasted what? sandwich. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what? I don't know. It's a double toasted sandwich. It's a, do- it's a double toasted yeah, sandwich. Double toasted okay. sandwich. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, but okay. it's not like burnt. No. no, you mm. made that. Your original thing made it sound like you took a sandwich out of the trash and you were like, it's fine. And then like, I'll just toast it again. What about refried beans would make you think no, trash? The way, the phrase refried sandwich just doesn't. I, you know what? It's like I a refried actually, bean. But I, I want to say, nah. I think that might nah. actually be a great metaphor for this. It was in the trash. <laughs> the game. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Yeah, actually, yeah. that works out. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, but they, they put it in the Quiznos in a little toaster oven. It went through right. and you're like... It's, it, I, I still taste a little bit of the trash, but you know it's real hot. <laughs> it's real hot. <laughs> it's real hot. So, uh, oh gosh! Got to gotta eat this while it's hot. I got I gotta say, I, I wasn't opposed to the game, but you're not selling me on the sandwich. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know what? I, I I do not know if Overwatch Two is a good game for people who don't like Overwatch. I, I'm with you. Like yeah. I don't know if I could tell someone who's never played this game, you're gonna love it. Get, this is it. This is, that's never been a better time. If, Jump in now. If someone yeah. doesn't. Like has never played Overwatch and was interested, I would first say go watch the cinematic shorts on YouTube. Correct. <laughs> yes. That's what brought us in. That is absolutely what and brought me. That may be it. Yeah. So you're saying that, that you have yeah. a really good video of this refried sandwich that might sell people on eating the sandwich. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. We, have, they, yeah. we have yeah. amazing exactly. yeah. marketing for this refried sandwich. It's a cheer jerker. It's a tear jerker. Yeah. When um, you're eating it. It's and a then, and then jump in the game, see if it's your bag. Agreed. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. After that. Speaking of, they did come up with a new animated short, which is like a, a big deal. It's one of the best things that this company does is make these like Pixar quality animated shorts that are real real fun and mm-hmm. have a good story. Tell the, tell uh, uh, one of the characters' backstories, but also uh, they, they bring a lot of heart. Yeah, they, they really do. Yeah, And it's been about two years since they've last released one of these. And the last one was almost more of a trailer than like a, it was. a full story. And they released a really, really sweet one. It's Kariko's story. It's on YouTube. And it's action-packed. And it's nice. And it fills you in. It makes you want to go and play as her in the character. When you Or mm. when you are playing as her, there's enough details in that short that kind of inform the lines that she's saying or the way that you're fighting. There's a little bit of like a fun role-play moment when you're kind of working through and, and, and playing that game, which is great. Which just feels great. That's awesome. Um, so... Overwatch 2, it's happening. It's great. I look forward to playing it some more and, and digging into to, to, to more things. Halloween's coming up. They usually do some type of fun uh, event and they costumes do. for that. So yeah. I look forward to that. And I'll probably check in with you all at the end of the year. <laughs> cool. <laughs> I, was, I was about to say, because my last yeah. question for you was going to be, are you back? Yeah, I'm totally. Yeah, you're, yeah. you're 100% in yep, yep, now? Yep, 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 yep. All right. Yeah, I'm, I'm back because I'm I, my curiosity has been piqued. All right. All right. So cool. I'm in. Nice. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Well, thank you, Troy, for, uh, for informing us about Overwatch. Uh, and now that brings us to our news. I don't have too much news this week, y'all. Um, but I do want to start it off with last month's uh, Adventurers Club game. Yeah. Which uh-huh. is Disney's Dreamlight Valley. Um, it's finally getting Ooh. its first big update, y'all. It's bringing in Scar. <laughs> uh, if it's not Jeremy Irons, I'm going to flip this table over. Are we, are we prepared for that? Well, we better be prepared. Yeah, I mean... Mm. <laughs> Uh, yeah, they're finally bringing in Scar next week. This is a game where you, where all the Disney characters, like you help them with their homes and they have like houses and stuff and yep. you help them with furniture. Right. Mm-hmm. Yep, so, yep. um, Scar? Uh, he, he lives in what? a giant, uh, okay, elephant's like- head. <laughs> um, yeah, we've seen it inside um, the game already. Does he have a couch? Does he have a... Is he, is, I haven't th- been inside. Like, are you being specious right now? Are you yeah. implying that lions can't have dope furniture? Yeah, I'm curious because there's also like like ovens and cookware. Like, yeah, I, I, I want to. What is what is Scar cooking with? What kind of gas well, iron Scar- stove? Well, first things first. Scar has a Mufasa rug. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. I I literally this whole time I've been like I went to the dark place while all he did was say, say to that kid I killed Mufasa and I'm like he has him as a rug. He's got and like a stuffed he has Zazu. The, yes. <laughs> yes. And the, the rug is kind of like placed Falling over like a chaise or or lounge yeah. like <laughs> halfway on it. Oh, no. <laughs> that moment over and over again. Yep. <laughs> Every time he sees it he's like ha ha ha. Yeah. He just he just pushes yeah. it off a little bit. Yeah. Just, <laughs> <laughs> Long live the king. <laughs> but yeah, I'm excited. Uh, we were talking about this last month, and Scar definitely was missing from the game. Yeah. And uh, among other things, but I'm glad they're, they are finally pushing it out, and hopefully they'll start to do these a little bit more often. 
uh, as as they mm-hmm. go along. They had a festival. The Pixar festival ended, and I was surprised that nothing else started. Right. It was like, hey, you only have like, 11 days left. And I was like, okay, cool, cool. So I'll check in 12 days from now. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and I checked in, and I was like, oh, so so nothing. <laughs> nothing. All right. So why did we, uh, why'd you turn it off? Yeah. We could have just kept on going until you were ready. <laughs> but we, the next one. It's fine. <laughs> all right. All right. <laughs> Whatever. Uh, but yeah, I'm happy. I'm happy. Uh, and then the next little bit of news is uh, Meta's billion dollar venture metaverse has announced how many daily users it has and boy i mean like mufasa you are not prepared to hear this all right it has eight thousand daily users boom nailed it they've won they've won (laughs) i don't know if i know what this is uh metaverse is it's uh like second life do you remember second life that game it's basically facebook's or uh, i should say meta okay Uh, it's their version of that and they, oh, a I lot forgot of people Facebook been, renamed themselves. Yes. So a lot of oh, people right. have been, so this is like a lot of people's like, this is, to me, this is kind of like the 3D TVs where it's just like, this is the next big thing. Everybody's going to want this. Same thing with like VR. Like everybody's going to. Do they have anything that Second Life didn't have? Like what's the pull? They have VR. It's VR. Okay. And so, okay. but it's basically, yeah. it's, 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 it's basically VR Second well, Life. It's not. And it, yeah. From the, from their most recent announcement, now they have legs. They do. What? They didn't have... Wait, 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 They released without legs? Correct, because you are interacting in VR, and the only thing that you really have in VR is your hands, because that's what they track, and it okay. tracks your face. Okay. They don't track your legs. Okay. Right. So your character didn't have legs? No. You mm-hmm. just kind of like... You're just like hovering? Correct. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Oh, I think I remember seeing pictures of this. Yeah. 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 Um, yeah the, the, I remember the trailer for it came out, and it seems like it's not really going to pick up steam until, like, I think one aspect of that trailer comes to fruition, and it was, like, a work meeting, having, like, a, a VR work meeting, mm-hmm. and they, they show that being, like, hey, you have a work conference, like, and, like, everyone is there from around the world being, like, all right, we're going to watch this seminar or something like that. Right, but not if it's cutesy. I mean, I think that's yeah, going to detract the, a lot the from <laughs> yeah. the meeting. The issue I see now, like... I work for a remote first company. So like, you know, we're all going into these meetings remotely. It's real hard to get some some of these people to to you know just work a Zoom meeting. Yep. So like, yeah, let alone <laughs> let alone also ha- they all have to have like a $1000 piece of hardware in order to put exactly. on and then but if yeah, the business is like it, they'll buy this, it for everyone. I yeah. just don't see this bridging that the gap true. between um, br- uh, audio and visual. Is is this isn't going to replace someone being on camera because it doesn't track your facial expressions? Yeah, uh, I, I just feel mm-hmm. like this is probably just. I mean, maybe they'll get there, and that w- that would definitely be like mm-hmm. the be all end all. Because uh, then, like, no one has to be like, "Oh, I didn't do my hair today. Oh, I had to be in this work meeting." Yeah. Like having something that's like a virtual version of me to track, I think would be fine. But the idea of having like a little me that my head just bobs back and forth, like, am I really getting anything more out of that than you guys just listening to my voice? No. I mean, it's fun. Yeah, yeah. but like. Am I, I think gonna buy a thousand dollars to yeah. be just like a little more fun? My yeah. company's not. <laughs> <laughs> I, I have like the, the, as soon as it gets to that VTuber level, where if it's cheap enough, where people have virtual versions of themselves that did track their face, yeah, I think that it could become something. But yeah. in this case, nah, the Zuckerberg got zucked. <laughs> <laughs> those uh, those rough days when I have to go into a meeting at eight o'clock in the morning, I just yeah. have the princess and glitter filter on. <laughs> <laughs> Heck yeah! They have filters yeah. blocked at our work. We can't use filters, Aww. which is a bummer. Because I would love a princess filter. <laughs> Little that, fairies and sparkles. That, that would have been great. Yeah, but yeah I yep. just to me this feels very Stadia like, where it's it's a great proof of concept. Yeah, I don't see this making money. But they I have don't to see... do this now if they're trying to get exactly. to whatever yeah. the next yes. level yes. is. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. No, I, I get why they're doing it. I just this just isn't it to me. This isn't it. Um, but yeah, uh, so. Good luck. I'm, you know, I'm happy. Those eight thousand people hopefully are happy, <laughs> and uh, and they're doing great things inside the metaverse. Uh, and then my last mm-hmm. bit of news. Uh, <laughs> 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 uh, my last bit of news uh, actually ties in with what we were talking about earlier. Uh, Destiny is getting some new armor skins, everyone, and it is Gundam armor themed. So cool. Yeah, it looks yeah. great. Like, like. like- Low key Gundam armor, or oh, like no. they high actually key. like. Oh, okay. It no, is. Like, it is pretty high like, key. Like, like they're advertising for Gundam anime with the armor, or are they just look oh, okay. looks oh, a lot like. Mean. Like, is um, it collab or no? I to be honest, I didn't look that far into it to see okay, if it's an okay. official collaboration. Is it, is it Doctor Pepper or is it Doctor Publix? 
Ooh. Yeah. It, like, like, is it's it like get, get the Wing Zero suit or is it like <laughs> get Mecha Man armor? <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna hope that it's like just some Zaku and some Char, maybe some like RX seventy eight. Okay, so it know? looks like it is Mecha inspired. Okay. So, okay. so yeah. So, so it has Gundam. One of them is like Ultraman, uh, and then the other <gasps> one is like Power Rangers. Okay. So okay. Okay. there so definitely is a little Sentai bit of everything. In yes. There. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'm a little sad it's not Jet Jaguar and it's Ultraman, but I do love me some Ultraman. Correct. Yeah. But like, definitely some. You've definitely seen it in all of the helmets. All of the helmets are very just that. Um, oh my goodness, yes. Yeah. Oh my goodness, yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm, and I'm, I'm sure they have some ridiculous poses. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. my gosh, yes. They're, they have always done really well. Destiny specifically has always done really well with their gestures and their yeah. different, yeah, their different animatics and stuff like the that. The only thing I will say against them when it comes to gestures is they gave me a gesture where I can pet a chicken, and why would I ever? Never change. Get another gesture. <laughs> <laughs> I agree. I got the as soon as I got the table flipping over one, I was like, "Well, this is done." Yeah. Uh, that's it. That's <laughs> this is it. it. This is it. I got the trumpet that goes. <laughs> womp, 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 <laughs> womp, womp, womp. See, nice. I don't have that one. Otherwise, <laughs> yeah. I would have used that trumpet. That was that was good. That's real good. <laughs> yeah. Love it. But yeah, I'm. I'm I, I, it might get me back. I don't know if it will, <laughs> but it might. It's it's the closest thing that's got that's almost got me. Also, back. apologies for our band nerds out there. It was a trombone. Probably a trumpet. It was oh, a trumpet. Yes. I don't want to get called yeah. out. I don't want to. <laughs> you can do that sound with a trumpet. You can okay, do that yeah, sound yeah, with yeah, almost but, any. But, 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 but it was. But the emo was, was definitely yeah, yeah, a trumpet. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. But I'm you know, our, our, our Twitter, our Twitter is going to light up. I know. Yes. I'm trying to like, put out this fire. Sure, you're not the trombone starts. king anymore, man. <laughs> it's over. <laughs> trombone king is a great, like Halloweeny, nickname. <laughs> Beware the trombone king. <laughs> he would have an excellent theme song. Wop, 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 <laughs> wop, wop. <laughs> uh, but that's all the news that I got for you guys this week. Um, which brings us to our final segment, which is Hissel's next installment of. Now that's what I call video games. <laughs> And you're never, ever going to win. <laughs> Welcome, everybody, to Now That's What I Call Video Games, Volume 5? I think it's 5. I think it might be 5. I think I'm it is. Sure. Unfortunately, it is we're the off first brand. one of Season 4, though. <laughs> yeah, we're off yeah. brand with, the, with Episode 5. But, I mean, no, it is Episode 5, though, so it's your fifth one for Episode 5 of Season 4. I think that works out. It's still good. It works out pretty good. well. <laughs> All right, so uh, for those of you listening that have not played this game before, this is how it works. I am going to read the description of today. It's six games. Ooh. Whoa. So I'm going to read the description of six games. One of these games does not exist. One of these games has been totally made up by me. Okay. All right. Phone's down. There's no Googling. Well, I do need my notes, man. To, I'm not going to remember all six. Oh, <laughs> all right, fine. <laughs> I mean, this is, I'm not, sorry, man. Next <laughs> time my I need everybody work the way it used to. <laughs> Next time I'm going to need everybody to bring a number two pencil and scan <laughs> Okay. <laughs> you have my word. I'm not going to cheat. That would be no fun. Okay. <laughs> okay. okay. Um, there is a theme for tonight's too. Awesome. So, awesome. All right. Do we get bonus points Let- if we figure out the theme? What? Sure. Okay. Excellent. It's going to be pretty easy to figure out. Robots. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> no. All right. Are you guys ready? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Here we go. The first game. There are two basic modes to this game, career and arcade. In career mode, the player builds their diner into a five-star prestigious restaurant. As their rank increases, so do the star ratings, recipes, and difficulty. Career mode takes place over 36 days, in which the player can earn five unique ranks from dishwasher, apprentice, junior cook, cook, and senior chef. In levels, the player is rated on a scale of zero to five stars. If they get zero stars, they lose the round, and Chef (laughs) Ramsay exclaims, do not touch another thing in this kitchen. All right. The game mainly focuses on quality of food and is used to calm patient customers. After completing each level, Chef Ramsay awards the player with a free recipe from his own with 35 in total. The jobs completed in the game include cooking, serving, waiting, 
and showing people to tables. <laughs> I know you meant waiting as in being a waiter, but I like the idea that it's like, no, no, you got to wait. wait. It's just, just like a timer for five wait. minutes. You have to yeah. not touch the controller. You just have to wait there while he yells at you. <laughs> <laughs> it could be five minutes or longer. So yep. I will say, in the first half of this, I was like, so this is just a generic game. You got generic Q game uh, to, mm-hmm. to be uh, this game. And then it got real Well, wait specific. until you hear the other, the other five. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. Okay. okay. So okay. personally, I, I know we're not... I just want to get into it real quick. If you made this up, you wrote you wrote way too much. You didn't have to. I I applaud you, but you didn't have to. Okay, this definitely gotcha. feels like a, a a dollar bin. Yeah, yeah. The, the, yeah. This yeah. feels like a late two thousands, like just cash mm-hmm. cash cow for. Yeah, uh, this yeah. just feels like a phone game. Ramses. Ooh, oh yeah, phone game. Ooh, I always, I always okay. forget about the phones. Correct. You guys ready for the next one? Yes. Yeah. This one's also a lengthy one. <laughs> This game is a point-and-click adventure game, uh, though the bulk of the sleuthing is done via photo hunt, point-and-click gameplay. The game will center on a room and the player must find and click on clues to help crack the case. Clues can include bloodstains, which the police might have overlooked, though some items launch a mini-game tied to the investigation, like matching pairs of Cuban cigars. The game features visual likenesses of Angela Lansbury and her crime-solving friends, Dr. (laughs) Seth Hazlitt and Sheriff Mort Metzger, played respectively by William Winden and Ron Massack in the television show. The game features a serviceable Lansbury (laughs) sound-alike. Serviceable? (laughs) Serviceable Lansbury (laughs) sound-alike. For the bulk of the narration in the game. And that is game number okay. two. Okay. I all right. I, th- I think you're writing all of these, that's a, but that's also within the rules. <laughs> like, you do not have to, like, like uh, say what's on the back of these games. No, no, no. no. Yeah. Right. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, because right. there's no way that they, they wrote that on the back. <laughs> right? Yeah. Right but now. But I do think that's a real game. Right now, I'm leaning on this one being fake because I want to play it really badly. <laughs> That is that usually is a really good barometer of this. <laughs> no, we got we to gotta pour one out for Angela Lansbury, right? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. AL. Um, R.I.P. R.I.P. Rest in paradise. Power. Oh, sorry, rest in power. There you well, go. Whichever one you want to race in. Mm-hmm. Um, third one. School's out. A series of wacky <sighs> events has trapped Corey, Sean, and Topanga Don't on the last day of school of before Stop. summer vacation. Not, help not them a boy escape the halls. The <laughs> help them escape the halls of John Adams High School as they try to break out with the help of Mr. Feeney, <laughs> Eric, and other characters from the popular sitcom. Wait, Mr. Feeney's helping them break out? Yeah. Oh. Is- or at least, I, I mean, I haven't played it. Okay. 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 <laughs> okay. okay. All right. Mm. Okay. Okay. Mm. Go on. <laughs> All right. You guys ready for the next one? Yes. 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 Regional manager Michael Scott. <laughs> needs, to imp- <laughs> <laughs> needs to improve the Scranton branch's performance to avoid downsizing. Easier said than done when Jim won't stop pranking Dwight. <laughs> Dwight won't stop complaining about Jim, and Stanley won't stop doing crossword puzzles. Look out. At the end of each business day, corporate takes their share of the money. Sorry, Michael. It's back to work at the office tomorrow. But don't worry. Any upgrades you've built will stay with you as you progress in the game, and you'll be making more in-game cash before you know it. All right. That one feels really real for me. For some reason. I'm so afraid to hear these next two. (laughs) You guys ready? Yes. Okay. This is the fifth one? Yes. Okay. CTU is investigating a series of terrorist attacks in the Los Angeles area, ranging from an assassination attempt on the vice president to the kidnapping of the chairman of a highly profitable corporation. CTU identifies Peter Matson, a former employee of Jack Bauer, knew as it. the leader of the. I knew you were doing twenty four. I knew you were going to do twenty four. Just waiting for as you to say. As the leader that. of the terrorist cell responsible for the attacks on Los Angeles, what remains unknown to CTU is that the attacks have been arranged by an old enemy who plans on smuggling nuclear weapons into the hands of terrorist networks. Jack Bauer must shoot, drive, and interrogate his way to the truth behind the attacks. All right. You're doing interrogation. That's it's not great. <laughs> not great at all. Not great. Especially 24 interrogation? Mm-hmm. No, no, no. Ooh. All right. Jack you guys Bauer. ready for the last one? Yes, last one, last one. Stick. Right, here we go. 
In this game, players are challenged to pimp out their customers' cars by exhibit, transforming <laughs> something old and rusty into something worthy of displaying on the streets. Cars can be redesigned from bumper to bumper, and it will always be players' responsibility to capture the styles, likes, and interests of their clients. To raise cash for pimping a customer's car, <laughs> players can crash into other cars or play mini games where the player <laughs> must press buttons in time, greet people by driving slowly, and pressing buttons, collect cash tokens that spell out P I M P, and destroying <laughs> signs and parking meters. It's pronounced P I M P. Just, just in case. Yeah, I appreciate that. Thank mm -hmm. you, Troy. Yeah, <laughs> oh, man. Uh, Those are the six. Okay, I cannot figure out the theme. I'm sorry. It's, it's <laughs> real difficult. Oh, no. I mean, there's, they don't, there's nothing that, that translates between, between any of them. So right. I, I, it's TV shows for millennials and above. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> specific. Oh, so you know you got me. Millennials yeah. and yeah. older TV yes, shows. That's yeah. true. That's true. <laughs> If only we I had you someone on this show. <laughs> Sorry, Gen Z. You guys set this one yeah. out. <laughs> Maybe uh, ask your dad for help. I or think he would have gotten cool a few older of brother. Them. Cool older yeah. brother or uncle. <laughs> that's, that's, that's me. Yep. Hey, what's up? <laughs> I mean, I didn't. Okay. I didn't actually know one or two of these. <laughs> yeah. So, oh, so one, the Gordon Ramsay game. I kitchen think nightmares. that may be real. I think the kitchen think nightmare nightmares one may be real. That, that one sounds feels, like. Yeah. I feel yeah. like I've seen that box art. And also, yeah. if it's not, again, kudos to you. You must have yeah. had a writing prompt for that one, <laughs> sir. <laughs> Uh, number two, Murder, She Wrote. I think that was probably maybe like an old PC game. I could see that. I, I think it was. The yeah. only thing that, that leans me to think that this isn't real is the fact that she passed away recently. So if Timely. Hassel was going to write something, she would be like in his subconscious right now. Or, 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 <gasps> or. just, just uh, to, to devil's advocate, uh, he started with that one because... He was like, "Is there a game that has Angela?" Lansbury That's where I was and going was with like, it. There mm. is. Ooh, I wonder what other t uh, what other TV mm. shows have video. Uh -huh. games. I do believe the Pimp My Ride game is real. Oh, yes. the Pimp My Ride yeah. is one hundred percent real. I'm not one hundred percent on is what he said. How you gained money in the, the game. crashing cars? Right, gave me a little bit I'm, of a. I'm, I, I remember the commercials for this game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the level of, I like, I know the, the game's yeah. real. Yeah. I just don't know if that was how you played But it also uh -huh. kind of would make sense, because, like, what else are you going to do in that and game? Burnout. And also, Burnout was yeah. real popular probably around that time. Right. Like, that, uh, or whatever. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I could see that happening. Also, Sneak King came out around that time, and that co that game's completely nonsensical. Mm -hmm. So I could see mm -hmm. it. What was uh, three? 23 was Boy Meets World, which was super popular. I could see there being like, like they made like a Home Alone 2 game back yeah. in those days. I, 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 love I think I want to say I remember the box art, but the box art is just the poster from the TV show. Right, right. So I want to say I remember it, but I don't know if that's the gameplay from it. And out of all of these, I think it may be the least popular. Correct. So so maybe, maybe not. Uh, the Office game, I think, I think the Office game could be like one of those... Like you're you're on NBC's website <laughs> and they have like a dumb game for you to play on yeah, there because yeah, it would yeah. sound like a phone tie -in. game, like a flash a game. game. Yeah. I think it's even before the phone. This is like oh. 2008. This is the True. Office. True. Uh, I mean, well, they were smartphones back but when I mean, Adult Swim had browser games. Yeah, yeah and they were right. just and it was, it was also like part advertisement. True. Yeah, yeah. This like flash mm -hmm. game. I could see it being that, but you got me with the progress. Those games would not have a progress system, so I'm not. I'm a little sus on that one. But too. a phone game might. But a phone game might. Yeah, we'll see. And then we had the 24 one, which oh, I'm I, pretty sure that's right. I played that. Yeah. I played that. I played nice. that. Spoiler alert, it took me less than 24 hours. <laughs> oh, so it's not in real time? What's the point? No. What's the point of making a 24 <laughs> game if it's not in real time? <laughs> it, it was pretty good, though. And then, <laughs> and then we already worth. talked about Pit My Ride. Yes. Pit yeah, My yeah. Ride, I'm pretty sure. is Again, I'm not too sure. Like, he could be throwing us off because it could be something that had a game, but this isn't the gameplay from it. Right. Mm. So, mm, I don't know. Sneaky. Where are y'all feeling? Uh, my vote's on two. I, 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 so, I decided wrote, early on. Murder, She Wrote game. Yeah, no, Murder, She game. Wrote. Brian, where are you at? I'm leaning towards Boy Beast World only because I don't see Mr. Feeney helping you escape the school. Yeah, you called that out while you were there. And yeah. And you feel pretty strong about that. I do. But then again. Why would, that, why would he do that? Why would he do that? But then again, this is also, you know, this is probably a Genesis I mean, game. <laughs> and uh, they're just doing what they can <laughs> to put all of the characters in the game. So I'm also having trouble visualizing a video game version of Mr. F uh, of Mr. Wilson, of Wilson. Oh, of Wilson from, yeah. uh, Wilson. from Tool Time or no, uh, Tool Time Improvement? No, no, no. Who is the guy with the fence? That's is that Wilson. That's, that's Wilson. No, that's, no, that's, that's Home Improvement. Improvement. Oh, I got my 90s yeah. TV shows crossed. Which did have a trouble. game, by the way. I'm pretty yeah, sure Home did. Improvement did have yeah, a game. Did. Boy. Did. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. All right. What are we voting? Joe, where are you at? Where yeah. are you at? I... 
I actually think the first one sounds not quite right to me. Gordon Ramsay? Yeah. yeah. That's Throw the us one off I think with the first one. Yeah. It just, there's, there was so much more in that one than compared to the oh, rest of them. Yeah. That it, it's like, I feel like I was being sold something. <laughs> it all had <laughs> modes too, which right. might be a lot for a game. Yeah. It's like, yeah. I, but I could see a phone game like this. I could see like, you know, kitchen, this dude has so many shows. I could see them being like, play the Kitchen Nightmares game. Yeah. And, you yeah. Know. yeah. and now that he does it with kids, it's like, that's probably like, here, kids, go buy this game now too. <laughs> you know? But I, yeah. I don't know. I don't feel like they, it. Yeah. There was like a lot of different parts to that game. Like you could be the washer or like uh, and then uh, like a dryer and oh, then a cook right, and kind yeah. of move yourself up, which is a pretty complex system. Although it was just titles, so I don't know. Uh, it's true, um, yeah, because it didn't mean that that's where you were at. That was just like there, your, yeah. There's a lot of cooking games where you like clean the table and then you click yeah. them to make sure they're happy and then mm-hmm. you make a thing also and you come back out. It seems too complex for a game that I feel would be that game yeah uh-huh. but i Fair. also remember seeing that box art for some reason manda uh-huh that, that mm. in, a, yeah. in a bin or yeah. something or like at a, at a game stop just kind of on, yeah. on it the could bottom be super row. real yeah. that where, where are you yeah. leaning troy uh, i'm gonna go with the office because so we're all different what does the all office right. game even mean <laughs> like what mm. i see you make progress there, mm-hmm. there in the office you did mention that yeah you make progress as you play the game and like that's a series where you don't. <laughs> you don't make the, the, that. That yeah, no one gets uh-huh. promoted in that. It's true. In, the, in that show. Okay. All right. All you right. Know, because there's six games, I'm fine with us each having our own <laughs> that we're going with. Yeah. Because we could. Because we could still all be wrong. Because there's oh, six games. Yeah. So, yeah. so Troy is the Office. Uh, Amanda, you are uh, Murder Lansbury. She Wrote. Yeah. Uh, Brian, you are uh, uh, Boy Meets Boy World. Meets World. And Joe, mm-hmm. you are Gordon uh, Ramsay. Kitchen Nightmares. All Kitchen right. Nightmares. So, okay. Are any of us right? So I'm going to give you the three that are actual games first. Okay. Okay. All right. And then we're going to have three left. So drum roll, please. Murder, She Rode <gasps> is a game. I'm yeah. so excited because that means it's real. We all win. We that, all win. That it is. Yeah. It's fun. a, yes, it's a PC game. Um, and it's, uh, it's starting the characters from the beloved Murder, She Wrote series. I'm going to drink um, half a bottle of wine and play that game. <laughs> Tonight. There it is. Yeah. Uh, Pimp My Ride. Yep. Also a real game. All Fantastic. right. How? I have no idea. Because X is going to give it to you. X is going to give you that game. X is going to give you that game. That's how. Yeah. And uh, Troy, you have a very good memory. 24 is a real game. All right. It's called yeah. 24 The Game. Yeah, it is. <laughs> yeah, it is. I, I remember that. <laughs> All right, All so right. we're down to we're down to three others. Ready? Okay. Yeah. Hell's Kitchen is a real game. All right. Hell's oh. Kitchen. Hell's Kitchen. There we go. Yeah. We Sorry. Go. Kitchen Nightmares. I don't know where I got that I, from. No, I said yeah. that. I thought it was Kitchen yeah. Nightmares. Oh, okay, I, okay, I, okay. Yeah, I, I was with you on that one. I thought okay. that was yeah. good. Same. Rock on. Nice. All right, so it's between me and you, Troy. Yeah. No, Boys meet. Boy meets world. Schools out. It's one hundred percent made up. No. Yay! Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the Mr. Feeny got, yeah. got, got him. I was like, Mr. Feeny yeah. wouldn't help him. He got you He'd be Mr. the antagonist. If you're, if you're, hang on a second. William Daniels, Daniels will help you out if you're stuck inside of a school. He'll, he'll give you some you. advice. He'll, g- he'll give you advice, but right. he's not going to actually help you escape the yeah, school. Yeah, not the. He's not. No, getting, no, no. Yeah, no yeah. schools. Yeah. Out. No, because you have punishments. You're taking that punishment. But the mm-hmm. punishment is really going to be him helping you in the. Oh, long of course. Run. Yeah, there's a lesson <laughs> right, yeah. behind it. Of course. <laughs> uh, last but not least, the uh, the the other game is The Office. Somehow we manage is a where real is, game. Where is that? What is that? It's a mobile device game. Uh, okay. Yeah. All right. All right. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Nice. 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 Uh, thankfully, Joe reminded us that mobile devices exist. exist. <laughs> yeah. Because that really helped me with that. Because I, I would think the same lines of the Office game. I was like, I don't know about that. Well, wait. There is mobile. <laughs> yeah, mobile's a thing. That, that sounds like a mobile game to me. All right. All right. You got us. You got us, uh, Hassel. You got, you got three Brian, out of four though. of us. It's Br- Brian, Brian is just a robot. He's yeah. an AI. <laughs> oh, you know, we asked you if you're a robot at the top of this podcast. Guess what? You just proved. Oh it. no! no. <laughs> Our plan worked, everyone. Uh, you know, if you if we Brian, if we box. ask you if you're a robot, <laughs> Brian, Brian, check this box. I can't. <laughs> Can you tell which yeah. one of these are trains? <laughs> <laughs> They're all trains, okay? They all look like trains to me. They're all trains. <laughs> if we if we ask you if you're a robot, you have to tell us. If not, it's entrapment. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Right. That that sounds that sounds right. 
<laughs> that sounds right. I it think, does. I think it's somewhat right. Yeah, yeah, true, yeah, true, true. Yeah. Uh, well, thank you, Hassel, for uh, for that rousing game of now. That's what I call video games. Woo, snaps Woo-hoo. to that. Yeah. I'm glad that's back. I'm glad it's back. It's, it's such a fun time. Um, Good job. But unfortunately, that brings us to the end of this week's episode. It's the end of the podcast, and we know it. And I feel hungry. This has been <laughs> this has been a jukebox podcast. This has We've done it's a lot of it really has been singing <laughs> yep. on this episode. If, no, if there thing. is one podcast that takes us out because of licensing rights, it's this one. <laughs> it is. It it's is. This, episode. It's this one. <laughs> yep. <laughs> it's okay. Joe will get it. Joe, Joe will yeah. make it so we don't. Joe will fix it in post. I'm fairly certain almost every single one of these things we hummed or sang was under seven seconds. We're good. All right. Okay. Great. Yeah. Awesome. Joe knows. If not, we're going to somehow sing just a little faster on the final yeah. edit. Yes. <laughs> Joe, I That's thought correct. you were going to say that. And it's okay. Every one of these songs were pretty off pitch. So <laughs> That's no, what I was expecting. No one's going to recognize it. <laughs> You yep. guys are terrible. Uh, we don't have anything to worry about. They've been uh, super flat. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Except for the trombone. That one that was right. Was right. 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 You mean the trumpet? Ha, ha, ha. Oh. Ha, ha, ha. <laughs> and speaking of which, uh, m- you know, music, we actually have a special guest on for next week's podcast, the um, originator of our theme song and good friend of the podcast, uh, he's a singer, he's a writer, he's a, a music maker of all kinds, he's a streamer, he's a professional video game player. He gets paid for that. He, he does, paid for that absolutely. Streaming. He's making mm-hmm. that money. We have Eric, uh, as he's known to us, but in the professional world, he's known as Rhythm Bastard. Uh, we'll be on our podcast, long overdue, can't wait to have him. Uh, he's been such a good uh, advocate for our show and such a good friend of the pod. Um, so check in next week, um, Sunday. Uh, to hear uh, us, yeah, talk about some video games and break down some some music theory and all types of good stuff. Oh, yeah. It's going to be great. I'm looking yeah, forward yeah. to it. Uh, but you can always find us online. Uh, please go to our Discord. Uh, we uh, still have our Adventures Club game that we're going to be playing this month. Yeah, our which, book club, both our, video games. Exactly. And that uh, this month is going to be Two Point Campus. Available on Game Pass. Or just watch a video if you don't have that and give us your <laughs> thoughts anyway. Absolutely. Uh, mm-hmm. So let us know in the Discord on our podcast discussion. And, uh, and yeah, we'd love to hear about that. And also, if you have a game that you would love to see be a musical, let us know. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. Send us your lyrics. Oh, oh my man. gosh, yes. I mean, if only we had somebody who listened to this who did music and lyrics for a, li- you know, for a, for a living. Right. Ooh. <laughs> you know? Um, but until then, though, as always, my name is Brian. My name is Troy. I'm Amanda. I'm Hassel. And I'm Joe. And we are... The The Taste Taste of Dragons. Dragons. Have a great week, everyone. Two hours later, Metal Gear Solid Opera. (laughs) Then the word got around, (laughs) man. (laughs) (laughs) This makes this insane, man. (laughs) Taste of Dragons Gaming Podcast. A podcast for everyone's day.